Hello everyone and welcome back to the Hobart Bay Sports Network. I am your host Justin Winter and today we have senior day against the California Golden Bears who are giving up all hope of a bowl game because they have seven losses and only four wins. And it's not a great year for them. It hasn't been a great couple years for them. Their defense is obviously subpar and their offense subpar. We are better than that significantly. They're led by Charles Martin. He's 143 for 265. Almost 2,000 yards, 17 touchdowns, 3 picks. It's not exactly the most impressive guy we've seen. He has basically no speed, and his arm isn't anything to write home about. We've seen a lot better. Their quarter, not their quarterback. Their running back is Michael Leake. He's over 1,000 yards, so at least he's having a good year. On a lot of carries. Only 7 touchdowns, which is surprising. And he's nothing special either, honestly. I'm not seeing how Cal could stand with us, but we've seen worse teams stick with us. Welcome back to Hobart Bay, Alaska, where we have senior day for the Hobart Bay ones going up against the California Golden Bears. This is the final home game for many of these players, for all the seniors and for some juniors too. Look at the Pac-12 North, there's nothing we can do to win this division. Boise State beat us last week, they take the North. So we're just hoping maybe just maybe we can slide into the playoff with a couple key losses elsewhere. Washington obviously is not going to stay ahead of us because we beat them and we have a better record than them. The playoff rankings will show that we are actually ahead of them. But that's just, you know, the EA rankings which have actually allowed 8 and 4 teams to make championship games. I'm not kidding. All right. Hope our base have to get the ball first and we have kickoff and it will be returned by Jojo McIntosh in his final game in Greg Perkins Stadium. And this return is... He would have been better taking the knee. All right. Well, that brings about first down and 10. With shotgun formation, Glessner looking for a throw. He's rolling out. Oh, they want everything early. He's going deep. And that one is intercepted by Wright. Okay, and he takes it back to midfield, so the very first play of senior day is an interception. Great. First down, California. It's as if they got the ball first. Martin will look to throw. He will go to the left, caught by Leak, who gets past a couple guys. Fighting, and he gets six yards, all right. Not bad, considering he had him dead to rights. For third down and one, it's a keeper for Martin. Has the first down, and he... Ooh, took a big hit right there gotta be careful there I tell I told Stupinski all the time don't take the hits and uh, now Mike Leak is uh, going down in the backfield so California is not going to be able to score a touchdown here send on the field goal unit this one from about 43 44 yards it's up and it's right through there no doubt about it how about a quick studio update now huh how about that Number nine, Ohio State loses by six points to the Michigan Wolverines. How about that? Michigan was six and five. They just defeat Ohio State, the Buckeyes, basically losing any chance of winning that Big Ten East. Maybe even a chance at the Rose Bowl. Who knows? I mean, that's a that's not a great loss. Number twenty-three, Purdue loses to Wisconsin. Twenty-four, Rutgers loses to Maryland, and Auburn just barely beat us. Well, they didn't beat us, but they beat Alabama. And we needed them to lose to gain spots in the playoff hunt. Man, that sucks. Alabama, you were so close, too. Oh, maybe we'll have luck with another team. But before we worry about any teams ahead of us losing, we need to take care of business here. Sticking down in 10, Glessner looking for someone. He goes deep, and that one is caught by Bentley Zwiebel, the freshman coming up with the big play on senior day. And I'm telling you, that guy is going to be a superstar. He is so good. Glessner over the middle, caught by Jacobson. Perhaps his final game. I can't remember if he's a senior or a junior. It could be his final game, either way. He has NFL size and talent. Hand off to Tyree Nolan in his final game in Greg Perkins Stadium. He gets a nice six yard run for a first down. First down and goal. Now we have Brett Stone in the game, putting in the freshman. And he will throw, and it's caught by Bentley Zwiebel for the touchdown. So the first touchdown on senior day is a pass from a freshman 
two, a freshman. That makes sense. Cal ball. Two tight ends to the left. What are they going to do? Hand it off and run it that way. Big surprise. And Michael Leak loses two yards. Maybe less of a big surprise. Jacoby Jackson is credited with that tackle for loss. Now third down and ten. All receivers are to the right. Martin will look to throw. He will throw. And it's intercepted by Oscar McGee, another senior on senior day. He's getting just inside the 25. Great way to start the game, boys. Great way to start the game. Now we have a split backfield here with Joanne on the right. Hand off to Tyree Nolan. Has blocks ahead. Makes a move and puts in 13 yards for a first down. First down and goal now. All the receivers bunched tight. Glessner looking to throw. He's rolling out. He will run with it himself. Makes a cut and can't quite make it. He's very close, but close does not get you the points. Second down and goal now. Goal line formation. Toss left to Tyree Nolan. Oh, that's easy. Touchdown, Obar Bay. No one was there for Cal. He just walked in. Absolutely just walks in. On that play, it usually goes like this. Toss left. If you get the block, which you do like 80% of the time, you get in. If you don't, maybe you can make a move and still get in. Now it's 14-3. to Cal trying to get back in this one. We have uh, sort of blown their expectations as Pollard gets the catch for the first down. We've struggled for so long against easier teams. I suppose Cal guessed that it would be easy for them to give us some grief. And now Michael Leak picks up five yards. But, uh, yeah, I think they were overestimating just uh, just how easy it would be to stick with us as Leak just <laughs> he couldn't do anything there. That was poor man. The poor man just doesn't have the line that's blocking for him. Let me get the ball back. I think after we lost to Boise State, that opened the eyes of the players and now put in some more work. That's caught by McIntosh. His first catch of the day he goes for 12 yards. Good on him. All right, and that will be the last play of the first quarter. So at the end of one, Hobart Bay leads 14 to three on senior day. Second quarter begins with a first down and 10 for us. Split backfield here. It's a handoff to Tyree Nolan. Got the block, great block right there. And he will be tackled just short of the first down. Still a good run. We take those. Second down and one, I formation. Could be a handoff. It's a toss left. Nolan got the block, but he's just stripped up. Got the first down, that's what counts. First down and 10 now with three receivers and a tight end. It's play action, Glessner rolling out, looking for someone. He will throw, caught by Joseph Jacobson down at the 35. 19 more yards, get him some playing time. Or, I guess, receptions, really. That's what you're really going for. Glessner looking to throw again. He's rolling out looking for someone. He will throw. That's caught by Bentley Zwiebel. 19 yards. Continuing down this field. He's already at 71 yards on the game. He's just that much of an impact player. First down at 10. It's a handoff to Tyree Nolan. Got a good cut. Fighting forward and picks up the first. 12 more yards. Hoping to get him at least 100 yards on his final game in Great Perkins Stadium. First down and goal now. Glessner keeps, and oh, Cal did that one really well. That was a good option defense. Jay Burgess got in there. Now third down and goal. Again, Nolan's the only guy back there with him. Glessner will look, he will throw, and it's almost intercepted. Ernest Lawson, he gave a shot at it. We're going to fake it. Stone has a man open, and he threw it behind him. Oh, no. Oh, come on, guys. It was an easy touchdown. An easy touchdown. Four minutes to go. Hand up. Oh, Michael Leak is met in the backfield immediately. Dane Burns said, hey, <laughs> there's a giant hole. I'll take it. Second down and 15, and Cal's got to be careful about what they call here. They're going to go with a throw, and Dane Burns gets the safety. He took out Charles Martin's legs. And he just sent him helicoptering to the ground. It's quite comical, actually. Just look at this. All right, so he goes in untouched, and then boom! Just look at the way he spins. Just look at it. He's like, I'm going to throw. Nope. You're going down like a helicopter that just lost one of its propellers. 
16 to 3. We get the ball after that safety. Hand off to Tyree Nolan, and he gets five yards. I honestly thought he would get less. So good on him. He's over 50 yards on the half, so he's on pace 400 so far. Third down and five. We don't want to give the ball right back. Lesnar launches, and that is caught by Zwiebel, and he's tackled just short. Just short. I guess Cal really wants the Hobart Bay seniors to score, even though Zwiebel was the first score. Hand off to Tyree Nolan, and he gets into the end zone for a Hobart Bay touchdown. So who knows, maybe getting stopped on the fake field goal. Maybe that incompletion worked out for the better because we got the safety, and then we got a touchdown. So maybe it's a nine-point play instead of a seven-point play. Hmm? How about that? Cal is down 23-3. to I'm just trying to get something before half. Charles Martin will get a sack instead. Hey, we like it. We like it when you get sacked, but uh, not sure that their coaching staff does. So we actually have one more shot. Add in more points before halftime. Lesnar does a play action here. Rolling out. He needs to get rid of it. He does. It's caught by Joannan. He breaks. Well, he doesn't break the tackle. If he broke the tackle, he was gone. But still, good play for Joannan. Now 40 seconds left, second down and six. It's handoff Tyree Nolan, made a good cut. It's tackled inside the 20. Closing in on 30 seconds now. We're not exactly in a rush here. Takes a snap on first down, Glessner rolling out. He will throw and it's intercepted by Harris. Oh man. I'm not sure what we, what we could have done. He just threw that one way, way too near to him. Either way, we're up by 20 at halftime, and uh, I think, I think, we might not have a nail biter. Cal probably thought, coming into this game, hey, everyone else has been able to keep a close game against them, so can we. Wrong. You're wrong, okay? So, guess what? The thing about us coming off of a loss is that we know more than ever that we needed to improve. So we did. And Cal came in thinking, oh, it'll be close. No, you actually have to work for that. So that's why we have a 20 point lead at halftime. And by all means, it should be even more points at this spot in the game. So Cal, well, let's see if they can actually do something. Charles Martin gets that one out, caught. No, drop by Campbell. Dropped it after contact as they decide to glitch out there. Yeah, that's weird. All right, we get the ball back. Second down and five now. Split backfield here. Glessner just gets the snap off, throws it deep, and that one is caught by Joseph Jacobson, doing exactly what we recruited him to do. He doesn't get as much notoriety as McIntosh does, but when he comes up, he comes up big. But he's a big guy. <laughs> get it? Nolan here gets the first down run. A nice nine yards. Third down and eight. We run up the middle. That's that's gutsy right there. That's rubbing it in too. First down and ten. Lesnar looking for a throw. He's rolling it. Oh, they left him wide open. All the green in the world. Touchdown, Obar Bay. What in the world was California doing? I mean, seriously. They left the field wide open. That is a major man coverage gap. And they didn't spy the QB. So now it's 30-3. to Can Cal do anything? The answer is maybe Pollard... He got seven yards. Okay, it's not bad. Now it's third down and three. Tight ends to the left. They're going to run it there again. No, it's a counter this time, and that does them no good. They lose three yards. The Cal O-line is just not holding up. Dane Burns gets another tackle for loss, and we get the ball back. Cal, I'm pretty sure you're not going to come away with this one. That one caught by Zwiebel, because why not? We need yards before going into the end zone. We just go to him. He's at 151 yards on the game. The guy's a monster. And he's not even the first guy on the depth chart. And Nolan actually loses yards there. That's uncommon. But hey, it's the second tackle for loss for Jay Burgess, so good for him. Third down and eight. Glessner looking to throw. He gets <laughs> Zwiebel again. Who else would it be? This guy's taking over for McIntosh. 170 yards and counting too. First down and 10. And off Nolan gets a good cut. Can he? Ooh. There's a lot of shifty maneuvers for just five yards. He's 
He's at 88, so 12 more. We're motioning out Joanna now. And it's a toss right, and we got none of the blocks we needed. Okay, well, that's how you lose yards, is you do a toss play, and it happens to be when the line just doesn't want to block. Third down and eight, clock winding down, we get it off. Last play of the quarter, Glessinger to the side, caught by John Gordon, breaks tackle, and he's taken down after a gain of five. So, at the end of three quarters, Hobart Bay has a 27-point lead. I'm pretty sure we got this one well in hand. All right, fourth down and three. We're going to try the fake again, and Brett Stone just didn't have any time. Okay, so, yeah, that's not ideal, but we still have a 27-point lead. Cal Wood drive down, and right here, we're going to hand it off to Brooks and score a touchdown. So good on them, but they're still down by 20 points. I'm not sure that they're able to make this comeback. And indeed, they're not. It's now three and a half to go. Glessner is going to take the snap here, roll out, and they're just going to give him a touchdown again. I mean, come on, Cal. you got to do better than that. Yeah, another score for him. Restores the lead to 27, as Cal just didn't feel like playing defense. So, Glessner, he got his touchdown. Now we're putting in some backups, getting them some play-in time. Breadstone just gets the snap off, throws this one, and it's a beauty to Ken Anderson. Great throw there. Ken Anderson, I believe, is a sophomore. He gets himself a touchdown, and I'm liking what I'm seeing out of these guys. Remember, these guys are going to be actual starters next year, assuming, assuming, Nick Lessner goes to the draft. Now, Brett Stone coming out. One minute to go. He's going to want a deep shot here. He throws. That one is caught by Jimmy Ross, who makes a cut, and he's gone. Touchdown, Hobart Bay. How about that, Jamie Ross, little brother of Hobart Bay? I would call him legend, but he only had one touchdown catch. Dallas Ross got injured. Jamie Ross came here. Dallas Ross now on our coaching staff, and I'm liking what I'm seeing. I am liking what I'm seeing out of Hobart Bay's future. Even if we don't make the playoff, we're still good. Yes, and that will be the end of it. So senior day ends. Pretty nice big win. It's been forever since we've had one of these. 51 to 10. Player of the game goes to Tyree Nolan. His final game in Greg Perkins Stadium. Let's give him player of the game. He earned it too. Though I would say Bentley Zwiebel was definitely another candidate. That man balled out today. But yeah. 51 to 10. 41 points. I think that's our biggest win this season. Our biggest win this season came in the final game. You know, it's been rocky. But we may not have won the division. We still have a shot at the playoff because realistically we're actually number five. Because Washington shouldn't be ahead of us. So we really just need one team to lose. Just one. And sometimes that is asking a lot. Sometimes it's not. It depends on the teams that you're asking to lose. But yeah, regardless of whether or not we make a playoff or just some fantastic bowl game, we had a great season. And I think our future is going to be great. But right now, we've got to focus on the stats from today's game in the postgame show. Glessner's day, he went 13 for 19, 275 yards, no touchdowns, two picks. It's the only downside to his game today. Brett Stone went 5 for 6, 118 yards, tack on three touchdowns as well. It's ironic, no picks either. Took one sack, a great game. Granted, it was limited. Tyree Nolan, 132 yards on the ground and two touchdowns. Gustner also added two touchdowns. Good final games for those guys. John Gordon even got a 16-yard run. You didn't see that, though. On the receiving end, it was all Bentley Zwiebel. I mean, come on, 170 yards and a touchdown. Joseph Jacobson, okay, so he is a junior. 62 yards, touchdowns for Anderson and Ross. Great games for those guys. Oh, Ken Anderson's a junior? I did not know that. Jamie Ross is a senior, so he got his very last chance at a touchdown. Dane Burns, six tackles today, all of them solo, include four tackles for loss, and a sack, which was the safety 
Oh yeah, you know that's right. Safety, which is the only one we've gotten this year. We appreciate that. Nathan Jackson for Cal was their top tackler. Seven solo tackles. None for a loss, though. No picks. So that's unfortunate for them. The receiving game was pretty dead. Only 37 yards for their top receiver, Jesse Greenwood. Yeah. It just wasn't great today. On the ground game. Oh. Oh, that's horrible, too. They had a total of 28 yards on the ground. They got a touchdown. I mean, come on. And then through the air, Charles Martin, he had good completion percentage, 15 for 25. He only got 135 yards, he had no touchdowns, and he threw a pick. He also took a sack, which was a safety. I will not stop mentioning that because safeties are rare. We beat them at everything except turnovers. Of course, we would miss in turnovers only. Of course. So that will end the season, the regular season. We advanced to conference championship week, and uh, we'll have to advance... Actually, yeah, we're going to go to Conference Championship Week. We're just going to see what is what. And, uh, yeah. Hopefully, hopefully one of the teams ahead of us can lose. But you honestly never know. And, yes, there's your coach points. Anything else? No? Alright. I see how it is. In that case... Let us go and look over at the different matchups that we have. All right, so first off, we have number two UCLA and number six Boise State. And I could see Boise State actually making it if they win that one. I could see them making it. Number four, Auburn against the seven and five Georgia, but Georgia went seven and two in the SEC, so they're more dangerous than you might think. Virginia's undefeated, the only undefeated team, going against number 12, Boston College. Michigan State is number three, going against a 9-3 Northwestern team. I would say... Oof, I don't know. I would say that UCLA is most likely to lose. Let's skip forward to pass that and... Go... UCLA wins by 14 over Boise State. Auburn wins by 4 against Georgia. Come on. Virginia wins by 10 over Boston College. And Michigan State wins by 12 over Northwestern. No one ahead of us lost. Which means that those four teams that I just mentioned winning will be your playoff teams. Kansas beat Oklahoma in the Big 12. If they had one less loss, they could be in there. And Wyoming won the Mountain West and Louisiana Tech won in Conference USA. That hurts. We're not making the playoff this year. We're not. Let's advance the week. You can see the Heisman winner and all that. You know, at least we can get that. See uh, awards. All right, and the Heisman winner is Colby Gonzalez from Ohio. Interesting choice. Dane Burns wins the Bronco Nagurski Award. And no other awards. Yeah, that's sad. All right, next up, we have the Rose Bowl game. So, it's not the playoff, but it's the next best thing. We got the Rose Bowl against Ohio State. Lee Corso is taking them. Oh, that's offensive. I hope to see you there, but until then, make sure to like and subscribe, hit that notification bell, and have a nice day.